Hello Alec. I was playing 9 handed $5 sit and go on 888 poker. It was the third hand of the tournament and I didn't have any reads on the players yet. But I knew that generally good players play in this tournament. We were 8 handed. I was dealt king of spades 10 of diamonds on the button. Couple of players limped from early position and the hijack raised it up to $87. Usually I would fold this hand at this stage, but I decided to call because I wanted to play in multi-way pot in position. Big blind and under the gun also calls. To the flop. The flop comes 10 ace of spades and 4 of diamonds. Big blind checks, and under the gun leads with 100 on $378 pot, initial razor folds. My thoughts were, he knew that the Razor wouldn't see bet this flop in 4-way pot. So he is either leading to not give a free card, or with a flush draw and wants to take the lead. I decided to call and re-evaluate on the turn. Big blind folds. The turn comes 8 of hearts. Villain decided to bet 200. I was confused about his small betting sizes, but as I said, I don't have any reads on him. Anyways, I didn't thought a naked ace would value bet his top pair twice this small, so I was leaning more into a flush draw. I also just guessed that a set or two pairs hands would bet bigger to charge the draws. So I called again. I want to be clear here, I wasn't hoping to improve on the river. I was thinking that my hands is good here enough of the times to call, and my plan for the river was a weak ace would not value bet his ace a third time. And I was hoping that he'd check a busted flush or an ace. And I would have checked back. So I was calling to re-evaluate or go to a cheap showdown. The river comes king of hearts, giving me two pairs now. He checks. I thought that he must have put me on missed flush draw, so my thinking was that he's calling a shove with a wide range of hands I beat. Naked aces and kings would call, even missed flush draws with an 8 or a 4 might call. All the two pairs hand without an ace also would. The only hands in his range that was beating me, I thought, were ace 4 and ace 8. So I decided to bet full in a now $978 pot, leaving me 105 behind trying to make it look like a missed flush bluff. He shoves, and I knew he had me beat. Of course, I called with my $105 left. He showed queen jack of spades for the nut straight, which I honestly didn't consider a bit. In my mind it was, a gut shot wouldn't play it this way, and the flush draws missed, I totally forgot about this combo draw that looks very plausible now. But to be honest, I would have shoved anyways as I still believe that more hands that I beat would also call, and I would be leaving money on the table if I just checked back. I loved his check on the river and I believe he totally kicked my ass. Yet, I still believe that I was correct to value bet on the river. I would like to hear your thoughts and the viewers thoughts about the way I played this hand. They really make great job analyzing hands. Should I just not play this hand? Was I supposed to check back the river? Or was I correct to value bet? Thanks a lot for the great content you're sharing with us and the great work you're doing for the poker community. Big love to all the viewers. Best regards, Faisal.